Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Love for Intuitive Astrology. My name is Michelle and today I will talk about the month of June 2022 for the sign of Virgo. So if you have sun, moon or rising sign in Virgo, then this is your video. So Virgo, we had so many shifts happening already, right? It's been like left, right, ups and downs. And uh, it started like already with the eclipses. And for you, that's in your third house, you know, uh, and the ninth house. And this has to do with um, your nerd note or the north node is in the ninth house in Taurus and the south node is in Scorpio. I want it to be more clear, but this Mercury retrograde is like not helping. <laughs> Luckily, it's it's turning direct on the 2nd of June. Okay, I'll talk a bit about it later. But um, a lot of you will make a trip or going to travel around this time um, in the month of June or maybe you already took a trip in May. This could also mean that you study something new or you're going to um, you're going to launch like an online business. Some of you are working in um, communication or are freelance writers, or you could be doing something on the side that's going to bring you more money, right? It's almost like because with Taurus there in the ninth house, a lot of you can make money through traveling, yay! <laughs> or um, ninth, it has to do with import and export as well. So, you know, starting an import and export business or like an online web shop. Um, so whatever it is that you need to do, you're gonna be kind of like forced into it. And these ideas might have come true in holiday. So it's almost like you will get certain downloads when you're like, calming down and you're going away on this trip um we do have saturn um squaring mercury which is already retrograde but then uh stationing direct and then saturn is turning retrograde on the 4th of june so there will be some lessons regarding work are coming back um sixth house is more routine work so this is more like your day-to-day -day routines um, so have you learned your lessons? Are you, um, you know, it, you got really tested on working hard. Can, can you keep up with your own schedule? Like, can you work from nine to five or can you, uh, keep up with your routines? Um, and these tests will come back. It could also be like working with authority in your job. Like, how is that going? Um, or being an authority and having more responsibilities, but you're really being asked to work harder than usual and getting more responsibility. So when it's going retrograde, it's literally like, hmm, how are you doing regarding that right now? Like, did you learn your lessons? Um, yeah, so that might come up. And we also have uh, Jupiter going into the eighth house and is conjuncting uh, Jupiter Jupiter with Mars <laughs> in the eighth house. So um, your libido is gonna ri ri rise. <laughs> You're gonna have a higher libido for sure <clears throat> for our, you know, 18 plus viewers. Um, yeah, so your libido is going to rise and you feel more optimistic when it comes to sharing your vulnerable side. Um, you feel maybe you're going to do like a Tantra course or stuff like this, you know, to open up new possibilities. And Tantra is not just in, in a sexual way. This can also be, um, this can also be related to more a spiritual side of it, right? So you're going to dive into the occult. Um, maybe you're going to learn how to read tarot, uh, but it's also in areas. So Aries is a very, um, impatient sign so uh, and also it could attract money from different sources so um you know i'm a virgo if you want to make a donation to my channel <laughs> no i'm just kidding but these are things that can happen with jupiter in the eighth house this is other people's money so uh it could be a loan from the bank uh to to have like a to build a house though we still have Chiron there. So I always a little bit careful, like 
make sure to have everything written down but I see that something that was uncomfortable when it comes to paperwork, when it comes to money, other people's money, it's going to be resolved. So for example, if you get an inheritance and it was so difficult to do the taxes and all these kind of things, um, it's going to be resolved around this time. So this is really good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and also if you are in a relationship, you're going to bring things to the next level. I feel like you're going to have deeper conversations and 8th house also has to do with like a soul level. So you really want to connect with someone on a soul level. Um, yeah, and then this full moon in Sagittarius on the 14th of June, um, it's going to be in your 4th house. So again, uh, maybe you want to buy a house. Maybe you're moving for a job because we have, uh, it's opposing Gemini, right? Uh, which is in your 10th house. So there could be a, a different, maybe you actually get a new job or you get more responsibilities even more um, because you've been doing your job well or you're being placed to another city uh, or another country. I'm getting confidence. So you're got you're feeling more confident, like with Jupiter and Aries, it feels like you're owning your own. Like I have to go back to the sexuality. I feel you're owning your sexuality much more, and you're more like I am who I am. Whatever, this is the energy I'm getting. I'm getting like I'm just doing what I want to do, and um, you may think what you want may think, right? So. Steady progress. So whatever it is that you want to achieve, you're going to have like a, a steady progress. So like bit by bit, you are working towards more stability. But with Uranus in, in Taurus, it's like stability. <laughs> Luckily, it's in your ninth house. So this also gives you a lot of intuitive insights on how to make money. So you, you're very creative with that. Higher education. Yeah, so studies, um, yeah, like Uranus in the, in the ninth house could also be like, maybe you're studying astrology. Um, actually, when I think about it now, um, I started my YouTube channel in 2020. So when like Taurus was shifting, I started my YouTube channel with Uranus in the ninth house. So maybe you did also something similar. You started like a YouTube channel or you're, you're going to do that. But that's a very interesting I think I didn't even think about it. So then we have a new moon cancer in your 11th house. So you want to hang out with friends. Um, you want to nurture yourself. You want to get out there. Maybe you want to go and spend time by the beach with your friends, right? Water sign. Um, what else can I say? Yeah, I do see there is a square with Pluto and Mars. I mean, I go more in details um, in my new moon and full moon videos for all the signs, but um, I need to tell you this, Virgo. For some reason, I need to bring it up. So yeah, uh, because you have Mars in the eighth house, right? Um, and it's uh, squaring Pluto in the fifth house. So be aware, um, there could be some people coming in promising you the world when it comes to romantic situations or in general and this could be against your own conflict and they might really make you angry uh, so maybe you sleep with someone or maybe you uh, bring out an idea and it's almost like somebody's blocking it so be aware of people who do not have the right intentions okay and it's almost like your friends might be supporting you in this situation <laughs> so this is more for the singles, but still, this could be someone in business as well, right? Because we have Pluto in Capricorn, which is business related. So if you, for example, have a creative idea, somebody somebody might steal your idea and be like, oh yeah, I never, no, that was my idea. Safe travel, okay? What did I say? Some of you are definitely traveling. love okay so you're exploring love different ways of love um it's almost like um with jupiter during your eighth house and mars you're learning to love different ways 
So you're learning how to give and how to take equally. And it's almost like your reward is coming your way. So even if there is an obstacle or there will be some people that maybe don't have the best intentions, uh, there will be a reward coming no matter what. And you see the white dove, I relate that to love. So if you're single, uh, you might definitely meet someone or the reward is um, you just know now your patterns. Because eight house is also about breaking cycles and with Jupiter, it's like breaking like repetitive cycles when it comes to love. So yeah. That's my message for you, Virgo. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. I also do private readings. So if you want to know more personally what it means for you, uh, yeah, write me an email. And um, I hope to see you one day. Bye.